All right, TRD family. Today we are going to be mounting a license plate bracket on the front of a Tundra because the laws say we have to do so. First, we got to find the drill. All right. So unless you want to mess up, you want to drill a pilot hole, and you want a pot hole that's literally like a pin. So I'm going to take something maybe like this, which is a 764ths for reference. Let's go check it out with the plate. Alright, now we're going to be trying to install a cover over this. Here's the stock. Oh, that'll be plenty. Alright, so here's our our uh, pilot hole. Now you'll notice in the bracket four holes which correlate to four dimples on the, on the truck and, and these two are actually hard to spot. So, I already lined it up. It lines it up. If it doesn't, you know, Deal with that one. You see, you got a dimple here, dimple here, and almost underneath here, you got just a. You could barely even see it on camera, but that, and then uh, that little guy. So we're gonna go ahead and pilot all those guys. Easy in, easy out. These bottom dimples are hard to feel. And you want to go in straight with the drill. Beautiful. Got four holes, pilot holes which we can mount our license plate bracket too. Big shout out to Tundra Dude. Hooked me up with the guy over at Sparks Parts. Got me the Tundra license plate bracket. Um, so this is the part number and uh, all that, but it basically it's pretty universal from any Tundra ever made basically. I think takes the same license plate bracket. This might be a little tricky because we also gotta get this on there somehow. So, let's, uh, let's make her happen. Everybody always freaks out about people seeing their plate number. I could give two shits. If I was driving down the road, you'd see it. Now, you gotta make sure that this slides down in. And I mean in, like that. That's why I had to stick my county sticker up even higher. And that is actually what keeps your plate locked in more than the bolts do. And that's what will allow us to put the cover on it as well. From Toyota, you get four supply bolts. So let's go ahead and just pop this baby in. You'll notice the one side has the extended tabs. That's for the bottom. I think I want to do this with a screwdriver. Now you don't want to tighten them all the way. Just yet.
She's done. That's how you do it.